Start looking out for this behavior in yourself as you're out socializing. So one big, big indicator of status in a social dynamic is who is being reactive to the other person. You may not know this, but people can goad you into being reactive to them. It's as simple as asking questions. For example, I could be one of your peers at work and I can look at you and say, how long have you worked here anyway? Now you think that you're just answering a simple question and providing some information in response, but just by virtue of responding to that question, you're already being reactive to that person. This is really, really important because when there's other males in a social situation and they're all vying for the attention of one particular female, you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you're either qualifying yourself or being reactive to those other males. But also women will try to get you to qualify yourself when you're out on a date, particularly if they aren't sure that you are who you say you are. So any time where somebody asks you to provide proof of why you're cool or why you're awesome or any of the, like to back up the things that you've said, you do not want to be reactive to something like that. One key tip for dealing with these situations is you want, when somebody says something to you or does something that creates a tension in you and you feel the pressure to respond, so notice the feeling in your body in these situations. Let that feeling be the trigger to stop in your tracks. Because your automatic response is to simply respond to that tension and to relieve it by responding. So if the coworker looks over at you and they're like, how long have you worked here anyway, buddy? Your automatic response might be, well, I've worked here for 10 years. And the second you answer anything in response to that question, he's already starting to win. So once you feel that pressure in your body to respond, you actually stop in your tracks and now all of a sudden you grab hold of the steering wheel and now you're either going to artfully ask them a different question instead of responding to their question or if you're good enough and you're in the moment enough, you can come back with a sarcastic response. So they say, how long have you worked here anyway? And now you're like, long enough to be your daddy. Or you might be like, speaking of work, didn't you get fired from Chippendales? Don't be reactive to that other person. And I guarantee if you just watch yourself over the next week to see if you're reactive to other people, you'll catch yourself doing it over and over and over again because it happens without us even realizing. Be the person that other people are reactive to. Now, if you like this information, you want other tips and tricks along these lines so you can excel in your dating life, watch the pinned video up at the top of my profile and check out my other ones up here.